Same colors. I'm saying different numbers. Okay, start. Yeah, it's already started. I don't know, but say, say something. Oh my god. Hello, everybody. My name is Ephemeral, and I'm talking to uh, Bobby Boone Woofles, if you didn't know who that is. Jesus Christ. Um, we are sort of going to try. He's going to try and teach me over Skype how to edit. So I've opened up After Effects, which I I actually legally own. So, legally own? Yeah, because I got it from you, so it legally, it is technically, it is legal. Because you bought it. Not. He it's bought it. it. He bought it. He is such a nice soul. Don't sue us. <laughs> um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with like the basics of After Effects. After Effects, okay, click on After Effects, because right now you're on Safari, you fat, you fat ass. No, I'm not. I'm in After Effects oh, right no, now. Look, 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 click it. Now you're in After Effects. New composition, right? No, 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 no. Just click close. <laughs> okay, so After Effects works in panels. You got your project panel, you have your timeline, you have your composition panel, yeah. you have your paragraph panel. Normally, you have an at, you have, normally you're, you're missing a lot, so just go to workspace, wait, no, to window, I'm sorry. Now click, you want to click. Uh, effects and presets, and that should be good. Now, from here, you want to basically organize it how you want to organize it. For me, you're missing something. I don't know what it is, but you're missing something. But whatever. For now, it should work. Yay. Okay, so now uh, you want to import your clips. Basic. Okay, basically, let me give you a rundown. Project tables where you put where all your information. Wait, pause. Where's my Twixter? In RE, uh, RE revision... Uh, plugins. Never mind. Okay, continue. Okay, uh, not okay. First, so basically, the project tables where you store all your clips. When you import them, all your clips are going to be there. So here. The timelines where all your compositions are going to be made. Right. Uh, right so here? You see none, but normally you have like rend a bunch of others. Composition up here, uh, right above. Yeah, that is where all your videos will be playing. So if you're playing something in the timeline, the actual footage will be playing here. Effects and presets are pretty obvious, like where your effects and presets are. And then paragraph is where is if you're doing text, but I don't I really think you're doing text today. Yeah. So basically, you can customize how you want this to look 100% to your liking. That does not need to be that big. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to have so much tricks around this, you won't even realize. Yeah, so now you want to import your clips. Import. Okay, computer that, import or should no, no, no. I just press this? Easier way. Go easier way. There's an easier way. There's an easier way. Stop. Stop. Okay, stop. I'm stopping. Okay, double click where it's on this. Uh, the, oh, this. The box. Yeah, double click. <gasps> Magicalness. Okay, we're gonna go down. Don't look it always up. No, oh, he is Persian. He is. In what? My the defense. Hell is, that is the weirdest name for a file ever seen. I'm not gonna lie. IRL man, which one do we want to do? Not parkour. Uh, I don't know. Snowboarding. Let's do yeah. Let's just like do snowboarding. this one. This one seems pretty easy. This yeah. yours? No, no, no. The, I found these are off Clip Hive. Oh, so those are yours. I was about to be like, heh, fat fuck. Sponsor Clip Hive. That's right. They're sponsoring you. Okay. Okay, it's importing. Okay, so once you've imported, now you want to go and do you see that little box right there with a circle, square, and triangle? Circle, square, no. It's tell like where, tell where my mouse should go. Okay, go in the in the composition, the project table. Mm -hmm. This one? No, the project table where uh, where your GoPro clip is. Now go down a bit. To the very bottom, you see like there's like a two windows. Yeah, that one right there. Create a new composition. Now you want to customize everything. So make this name main comp. No, main comp. Main okay. comp. Main comp legit bra. That's like no, that's the dumbest name ever. Dude, it's but legit. That's. You want to say no, no, no. You're not done. You want to say your frame rate. Frame rate here fifty. Never mind. You want to say your frame rate? Never mind. You do you? Yeah, never mind. That's right. Uh, okay, now click. Twenty-nine point nine seven. Okay, now you want to click. Okay. Okay. 
Now you're going to want to drag the cl actual clip. Yeah, the clip, the GoPro, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you want to drag it into, click in the, to the little box. So remember the box you just clicked? This drag no, 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 no. To the, to the box with the square and triangle. Yeah. And then let go. This is called pre-composing. So this what that is, does is it makes it there. Main. Yeah, it, it makes it so you can like make it so it's not as much effects and clips and stuff in one little thing. Okay. So now you want to go and find the clip where you want, right? So just go cut off, co copy and uh, go to the part where you want to start your clip. Where okay, um, where like which good. like a part of the snowboarding do you want? Well, how much do you want? How much should we do? Cause Just I for now, we're doing four basic minutes. things. I know, I know. For now, we're doing a pretty basic thing, right? So maybe just find one trick you like, one lead-in trick you like. Yeah, fine. That's a good one. Okay, that's and we'll stop there. So we'll stop there. So now click Control Command yeah. Shift E. Oh, my computer is going haywire. I can hear it. Yeah, I know. Don't listen to it. It's okay. Oh my god. Okay. What? Okay. So, did you press Command Shift D? Control Shift. Okay. Control Shift D. I pr Command Shift D, right? Not c Control. Command Shift D. I did. Command. I did. Okay, now, first of all, the reason it's so slow is go to where it says half. Where? See where it says half? I don't see half. That's how we're going to go. This, where you see the actual snowboarder. This, yeah? Yeah. Go to the, where it says half, see at the bottom? Oh, yeah. Now, drop, do the drop down menu and do quarter. <laughs> okay. It'll make it so you have less rendering. It like, lowers the quality a lot. Okay. But it doesn't. That's not actually look like it'll be full. So now go to the pro, go, go back to the timeline. Okay. So and should now I now click Command Shift D. Command Shift D. 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 As in donkey. Yeah, I said I did. Look. Did that that's cut what it? we're supposed to do. Yeah. So now go to where you want to begin the clip. Too far, too far. Here, I guess. I don't know. Should I just, just press, press space to see if that's the right place? This is a drop. There. That's where it starts, I think. There it is. Yeah, right, right here. So should now I... you wanna... Another thing you can do is just click Command-Shift-D again. Con Command-Shift-D. So that Did we can... Work? Do, yeah, so we can delete both the bottom Good and the top. Yeah. Good job, buddy. I don't want to talk to you. That's not very... Oh. One sec. Just go on, do not disturb. Yeah. I'm always on do not disturb at this point. Yeah. No, do not. Invisible means people can still message you. Yeah, but they won't know that I'm online. Okay, so delete the two things. This one. Boop. Boop. How long have you been? Nine minutes. Now bring the that and bring it to the very front. This? Yeah, bring it to the very, very beginning of the composition. There? Yeah. No, no, no. Just break. I drag the actual cursor to the end, and then you can see where the beginning is. What are you doing? You told me to bring it there. No, no, what are you doing? I don't know. Here. Wait, wait, wait. I got this. Undo for the win. Oh my failure! No, no. First of all, I'll bring the cursor. No, first bring the cursor. This? Yes. And bring it to the very front. Okay. And then we match it up. Now you want to line it up. 
perfect. Yeah, it can be a little yeah. like that. That's fine. That's fine. Now you want to go to the very end, and you want to go to the very end. Of the clip down here? Yeah. Like, no, no, no. I mean, like, to the actual where the, where the footage will stop. Yeah. You get how that works, right? How the unhighlighted area is, like, non-footage non you're not using. Yeah. Okay, so now you want to go a couple frames after, so it's just pitch black. Yeah. That's perfect. Now you want to go to composition, top bar. Yeah. No, no, even farther, like at the where it's like After Effects file, edit composition. Yeah, composition. Yeah. yeah. Composition settings. Okay, what's that? Composition, where is settings? Uh, new con. It's like there. right below. There second. it is. Okay. Yeah. Now you want to set. See, look at the time where it says ten twenty one. Set it so it's zero 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 ten twenty one. Ten. Where does it say ten? Where does it say ten twenty one? Can you see it uh, on the timeline? On the actual timeline. On the actual actual timeline. Don't don't click off. Don't click off. Oh my god. I, right. I didn't. I didn't. It's in the corner. It's in the corner. It's in the corner. Of this? No, in the actual like After Effects window. Oh, in here. Like right. No, other uh other side. Here. It's right beneath the project table. Look, you'll see it says GoPro snowboarding Tim, zero 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 ten. Yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Goodbye. Yay. That's, the, that's your time code for where your cursor is. So now set the duration to where your cursor is. So zero, 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 and twenty-one. Yay! I don't know okay. what is happening, but I'm liking it. Okay. okay, now press. Okay. Whoop whoop. So now you see you have a bit of, you have a bit on each side, right? Oh, look at that! Look how crazy that is. Yeah. So. So a lot of people like do do this next step in their own way. So I like to have my uh, looks on one whole for my whole edit. If I'm making a longer edit, I like to have the same look so that it doesn't change that much. I'm, I'm talking about Magic Bullet. We already talked about this. Yeah, right? we already talked about this. So it's right here, right? No, no. Remember, um, so you you have to make up for OCEs or like something smaller. You can have it in one comp. So what you want to do is you're gonna go main comp legit bra. Legit bra, okay. We're going back to legit right. bra. Now you want to click GoPro to GoPro up here, no up here, no no up in the in the comp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you want to drag and drop that into the main comp legit bra. This the video or the actual composition? The composition. So this one, the GoPro composition. Yeah. Okay, this. So do that and put it here. You put it in the timeline. Yeah, that works as well. So now you see, you know, you got the, you got the basic. Understanding of like that. Okay, yeah. So now you want to edit the composition size so it's trimmed down to the exact size. So it's was ten twenty one. Remember. So composition settings. Ten twenty one. So ten twenty one like that. Right. Yeah. Cool. It would, yeah, it, that's just oh, in this case. Cool. But if you had multiple clips, you'd have it a longer length, and you'd figure out at the end what okay. the actual. So do we even need this this old this one here now? No, yeah, you do, because that one okay. is basically what you do for. You're gonna go back to that one, yeah. So now you want to do a, go yeah. to composition, go to the composition settings again. Composition settings again, okay. Yeah, this is for now. We're getting into Twixter. We'll just do, do Twixter today, and then that'll be it. How to make it so it doesn't frame bend that much? You want to go to width. With, yep. See width? Yep. Now uh, click on width and number so you'll have like the, the actual window come up. Yep. And put in what? Uh, go to the very end, like, like so you don't, so you're not highlighting anything. And do times 1.25. Like X? Yeah. 1.25? Yeah. Okay, and do the same for 720? Yeah. Whoa. That's amazing. No, no, no. Now you have... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you have... You have... 12,801 pixels. No, no, no. Uh, I think it... Or yours is weird. Yours did it for you. No, just get rid of that 1.25. It did it for you. Because it's... Oh, yeah, you have lock aspect ratio. That's fine. Now just get rid of the X. Click enter. So now you see if you go over to the clip and go to like the three seconds part. Right here. Wait. 
It's small, right? Yeah. One no, you did a hundred and twenty five, dude. It's supposed to be one point two five. Oh. Did I go back and do this again? Yeah. What a, where? Just put it to twelve twelve eighty and then do X one point two five. Just switch it back to twelve eighty? Yeah, twelve eighty. X one point two five. Yeah. It's still the same. What? Same size. Watch. Okay, well, I don't know what your After Effects is doing. It's on drugs. Wah! Don't unlock aspect ratio. Only That's for plebs. Should I do this again? Yeah, that might be your problem, man. X1. Oh, no. X1.2. Can I make it bigger? Can okay, I just touch it? Uh, hey, I'll have to. T I have to figure fiddle out without yours, but whatever. Man. Just end this. Should I just put, put it back to normal? Yeah, for now. Okay. But basically, what you do is you bend it a super big much so that you don't get a super weird uh, effect thing. Okay, so now go back to main comp legit, bro. Okay. And import a song like a song with no singing is easier. Okay. I don't have any songs where I know where they are. No, uh, uh, you don't know how to get them? Okay, go to file import files. I know where they I think I actually know where they are. It's in music, iTunes, iTunes Media. Why is what? Why is it just so weird? Mine's just like there's a whole tab for music. There. Yeah. I know where I'm going. iTunes. iTunes Media. Let's do some glitch mob. Well, they're copywritten. Use a song that's not copywritten. Okay then. Um. I can't remember, like. Uh, what is this? Uh, I'm not hip. Gummy bear. <laughs> okay, you actually know it's you were said less than twenty seconds. Use glitch mob. It's fine. Vanessa Hudgens. I like it, Cam. I Dude, like I have, it. I have a lot of people. Okay. Wait, I have to go back. The Veronicas? Dude, you're just too hipster for me. Oh my, oh my god, Lily Collins, man. That's an insane song. Should we do Why that? Is it Should just... we do this song? Let's do this song. Does it, no, no, no. Can't have singing. Can't have singing. Can't have singing. It's oh. too hard for you. This state. Fuck you. Okay, I'll do... You don't like no music, Cam. I don't know where they all are. Yeah, why isn't it like a normal person? Because I have it in a different... Why is it in that format? Yeah, change formats. There we go. Plugin for days. Okay, I got a song. Now you have your music. Now you want to draw, drag and drop the music into main comp legit. Brah. Here? Yeah. No. Press LL. LL? Yeah. Press L twice. Yes. Yeah, so now you have the waveform. Whoa. Okay. So now drag and drop the wave. Like set the waveform to the, that. Like how you want it. So that's the first kick. You know, uh, you know how music works, right? Yes, I know where the waveforms are. That's the drop. You can definitely tell because it's like... Soft, I know because it goes... Down. Wow, 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 wow. It actually goes... Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Wow, 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 okay, wow, wow, cool. Okay. okay so now you want to sync it up however you want. So what do you want to do for this sync on this snowboard clip? So how um, do you want it to like... You want to sync it to the music kind of, do right? Do you want to listen to it? Sure. Okay, I'll put my... You have the RAM preview to where you listen to it. You know that, right? I have to do what? You know what? That's too complicated for you. You don't have a brain. <laughs> so mean. Whatever. I don't know. Um. Why doesn't it play? I cannot hear it. I know. I told you that already. I told you that already. It's a RAM preview. Where do you went over this? So we have to render it? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You, no, no, no. Don't, don't do anything. Don't do okay, anything. Okay, I'm not dodging. Okay, so now all you want to do, okay, we'll just do some basic syncing. So, so and get Twixter. Ah, who's calling me? 
The person. Samantha. No, we can't add him to the call. Oh, one sec. One, just pause this for one minute. I'm gonna text him just to tell him I'm doing. I'm recording. That is gonna be like, but I'm gonna be on. My name's Samantha. Kid's so fat sometimes. Done in twenty minutes. Babe. Work. Okay. So, I don't get what he says. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to the bouncing sky Michael. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, there. You know where it is. Now, Twixter, Twixter Pro makes no difference to me. I Twixter Pro, I guess. So, Fine. So, what do we do? Just like. Drag it onto the clip. So, the this GoPro. one? This? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, whoa, man. Okay, we kind of went over this a little bit before, right? We have to put a time in, time out, and then you want to put it like a couple frames in so it kind of bends. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's actually the right idea. Click the okay. First, want to click the stopwatch, right? Remember that. What's the stopwatch? On speed, on speed. No, in the effects panel, in the effects panel. This one. Yeah. Now go down to where it says speed. See output, output control, time remap, mm -hmm. speed. I see the little stopwatch. You see the stopwatch right there. Yeah. Click that. Yeah. Now I'm gonna click U. You, what? U, like the letter U. Oh, U. Oh. Now, oh. now you have your keyframes. So now you want to go. You want to zoom in a, like a fair bit. Zoom in on this. Yeah. So how you do that is you see the very bottom where it says the very small and the very big. The mountains. Yeah. Just get an allergy. Okay. So now go to the very front. No, yeah. Like this. Where, right where the drop is. Now go. No, click the. Go for the music where it drops. Uh, like just drag, just drag, drag the box. Yeah. So, so, um, go to window. Actually, you're missing a tab. I know what you're missing. Window. Um, preview. Preview. Underneath the paragraph. Yeah. So now you want to click the little. Pause play thing. Do you see that little pop? What are you doing? It doesn't need to be that big. Oh. Never mind. Yeah. They want to click the little pause play thing. See? It just says backwards or forwards. No. no, no. The very, very last one. This. Yeah. Ram, it's called RAM previewing. I'll press play. Oh my god, it's a No. Uh, oh. click, click the space bar. There should be music there. That's what I like to hear. Okay, it doesn't matter to me. We're just doing it for you. It's that basically amazing. Easy. Okay, so now you want to go for the Twixter. You want to make it so that however you, how do you want it? Do you want it to like slow down right before the drop well, and then it pick goes up? like it goes. The first part of the sound goes. It's like a coin dropping into a machine, so it's like. Oh, I don't know how to say it. And then it goes boom, boom, boom. And then it goes into like the music part. So yeah. I think we Where, should slow it down music? right around here. I'm going to put the thing. Like, could we slow it down? Like, because it goes ch -ch -ch, and then it goes boom right there. That's when the music starts right there. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to enter the music. So we slow it down there. Whoa. Like that. Okay. So now go to right where the music starts. Put the cursor right to where the music starts. Uh, it's either or, before or after. Which one? Just go ramp preview and then you can tell. Remember? No, okay, I know, I know exactly where the music starts. But on the thing, it's so zoomed in that I either have to start it. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. Yeah, I got it. I got okay. it. Now you want to go to layer. Right. Up here? Yep. Add and marker. Where is that marker? There it is. Oh, uh, right beneath the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me. See the little, like, little box right there? Now you know that's where the music starts. Okay. So now you want to like insert. See the little the tri two triangles and then the diamond in the middle? This Over one? The, uh, right next to like. So you'll see I... The music, and then there's the FX, and then there's on the well, more on the left, more to the left. These? No, 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 keep going. You'll see see speed, 
right? Yeah, speed up here. Right speed, no, no, but no, 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 in the actual timeline. In here. Yeah, now where it, well, where it says GoPro sliding Tim or whatever. I can't see what it says. This and one? Then, no, no, no. Okay. Down. Down. Go down a tiny bit. This down. thing. Yes. I go left a bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. A lot. Like a, like the, uh, a little more. A little more. A little. Not even more. Yeah. And then that. That one? No, down. Down. Do you see the two triangles and the diamond in between? Yes. I, that is called your keyframe. Now I click the diamond. See it. I see it. I see it. Good boy. Click the diamond. Click the diamond. Oh, diamond engaged. That's your end of your keyframe. Now go to where you want to start the slowing down. I, that's where I want to start the slowing down. So you want to start the slowing down? Oh, wait. No. End. Right? The slowing down, I want to start there. Wait, wait why do you want to start? What do you mean? Okay, I see. Okay. One sec. Let me let me let me just figure this out a little bit. It's all gonna be all good. It's all gonna be all good. I like the English, bro. I have great English. No. Okay, we're not gonna do syncing to the music. Okay. That's kind of complicated for now. Let's just sync it. Let's just do some Twixter. There. Right here. Right here. Let's just do some Twixter right there. Right, right there. when he goes off the jump. Yeah. Right when he goes off the jump. Yeah, right there. Perfect. So now bring the keyframes over. Like just drag and drop the keyframes. This? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go a couple okay, go a couple frames before. That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Okay. There. That's perfect. Should be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now go. Now click the diamond. Diamond. Now you want to set the speed what about to like this let's one say thirty. What about this diamond here? This, that doesn't matter. It's a, it's a hundred, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Set the speed to thirty. This one here? No, no, no. In the actual down here. This one. Yeah. Set it to thirty. Thirty. That means that one keyframe is thirty. So you want to imagine it, it? If you want to imagine it like this. Every single keyframe between the one that's 100 and 30 is it going down. Is it? So, or it is? It is. So at the 100 okay. mark, it goes down to like 95 to 97 every frame. And it'll go down and then progressively it'll get to make, make it to itself to 30. Okay. Cool. So it's smooth twixter. Ah, oh, it's smoothing it. Oh, yeah. So Ooh. now you want to go to where you want to end the twixter. End the twixter. We got to go more forward. Okay. That's a bit long. It hasn't even landed it yet there. I know, because it's super slow right now. It's 30% speed. Remind you, I, should, I have zoomed this should. into like, this is only two and a half seconds long before Twix. Oh, really? Yeah, this oh. is six seconds, seven seconds. I have 10, 20 frames in between each. Not really, but okay. You have 29 frames per second. So, exactly. yeah, that's right. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Okay, that's what you want. Let's say that's where you want to end it. I don't want to end it there. I got it up But here. for now, we're running out of time. We have 30 minutes episode already, I think. Oh, only 29. Okay, so end it right okay, there. We should end this episode with a cliffhanger saying, We're not going to teach you Twixter today. We'll teach you tomorrow. No, shut up, kid. Ah, it's we. Can't do it in one video. It's a too hard. My brain won't comprehend. No, no, we'll really quickly. Don't try this. We're gonna finish really quickly now. Insert a keyframe. The diamond. Okay. I'm back. The diamond. You never left. I did. I left. The diamond. The diamond. Diamond. The and then a Di second diamond. Okay, now go like five frames or something to like the ten frame mark. Another diamond, right? Yeah, another diamond. 
Boom. Now set that diamond to 100. 100. Nope. 100. So now what you have is you oh, have goes no fast, goes, slow, goes normal speed, goes slow, goes normal speed. Now the last thing we're going to learn today is layer. Layer. It's called adjustment layers. You, we already kind of went over this, but uh, new, new, adjustment layer. Boom. Now you want to go to magic, type in looks. And effects and presets, type in looks. So just type it in. Now put that onto the adjustment layer. So boom here? Yeah. No, click edit. This is where we got to go thing. We should end the episode here. No, we just finish this. Just finish this. Okay. One more thing. Almost got it. I put it on. What do I do now? Edit. Edit. No, no, no. In, in looks. See where it says looks? This? No, in no, on the effects and presets. Effects and presets. Okay. No, over here. Like, yeah, see? See, it says edit. Click that. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. It'll just be a window that pops up. Now this is where you want to edit the color correction of the clip. So now go to the left. I mean the right, sorry. The right. You want to edit a bunch of stuff. Let's go over the basic stuff. Let's go to contrast. Contrast. Yeah, drag and drop into subject. So now you have contrast, pivot, exposure, here, yeah. So now just just play with the settings for a bit. So raise the contrast, lower the pivot, and raise the exposure composition. Raise. So you can see where it's changing, right? Mm -hmm. Now change like the pivot, yeah. That's a bit much. That's a bit much. That's a bit low. Like there, that's nice. Now I'll go to exposure sensor compensation. <laughs> Can't do too much, or you get lots of things called I think called noise. Like that looks good. That looks good, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. Now go back, click on the mat. Yeah, yeah. Import another one. Go to no, go no, no, no. Just, and then go oh, import. Um, import anything you want. Um, actually, go to lens. Go to lens. Lens. Yeah. Uh, and go to vignette. And import. Ooh, I remember this. Um, don't you like change that? You can change whatever you want to the vignette to whatever color. I don't really like changing the color too much. Black and white just look the best. You can change it to like maybe if you want a subtle blue, one that might look nice. But just you don't want to change that too much. Mm -hmm. So once you find your setting, then click finish, then click uh, on the camera again. Like click so you can edit them again. Uh, add more. What, where this done? There's click. Oh my god, that chunky child. What happened? No, now, and now put in edge softness, let's just say, for the, for the last one. Now you see you get a blur on the sides and clear in the middle, right? So you can change how you want that. Yeah, so you get it. You get it. You get it. Yeah, buddy. So now you want to click finished. That's your finished color correct. So where do I go to finish it? Oh, uh, let's just... Oh, under your name. There you go. Oh, yeah. My name was there. Lol. So now you have your Twixter and Magic Bullet looks. Now the last thing we're going to learn is rendering. Pretty simple. Go yep. to comp, uh, file, export. Where is it? Well, there it is. Add to render queue. We're not actually going to render it out right now. I'm just going to save yeah. it as a project. We're just going to go over this, right? Yeah. yeah now go I to render settings. Best settings. Down. No. And you want to click uh, click on best settings. For now, we'll make... And now click, click, actually click on the gold text. Only thing you want to change is uh, make sure everything's at full, best... Free, uh, use comp frame rate, and that's it. That's all you want to change. Okay. Now you want to click lossless. Audio output. Where? The very bottom. Done. That's basically that's the basic render setting. Okay. 
a lot more you can do. Yeah, I know. Okay. And then to render it, actually start rendering, what would we do? You'd uh, first you want to see where it says not yet specified, click that. Specify. And then save it to where you want. Save it as blah, 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 right? Yeah. So you would click save, but we're going to go. No, no, you click, you can click save, but then you have to click render. To actually finish it off, okay. click render. So, in progress. In progress. Pro progress, tester, progress tester one, or whatever. One. In progress one, and we're going to shave it to somewhere in my G Draft mobile. So when you have a chance, you'll render this out, and then we'll... We'll put it in with the actual film, with this actual footage at the end to see what you learn in a day. Yay. So now, testing time. Now, we're going to do a test every time. And then you'd render, uh, but we're not going to do it. Yeah, but we're not going to do it. But okay, test time. So, okay, we're going to go. Oh, God. Go, create a project. What do you want to do? Create a project. We're going to, in the project panel, right? We're going to like double click here and so you can import files. And then Perfect. once you're done that, you want to click on this little square thing to create a composition, right? And when you click on the square thing, what are you actually making? You're making composition, right? Yeah, you're making composition, but what, you only click that square for one reason. You to make your... Make like this thing down here? You know, to make your main comp, remember? Yeah, main comp, this one. Yeah. Now, after you make your main comp, now what do you do? Um, after my main comp... Come on, remember. Um, take the footage. Take the foot, take this, and then pull it into down here. No, remember, remember, you want to make, you want to pre-compose it, so you make its own composition. Oh, okay, so how do we do that again? You just dragged it onto the square. Remember? Okay, drag it on. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, next. Then you want, then, in this, you want to do what? You want to, like, find what times you want to use, like, out of your clip if you don't have them, and then you want to kind of put them to the time that you want them, so we'll put it 10.21. Okay, that's, yeah, that's right. So now back in your main comp, how do you get what do you, how do you get that composition into that composition? So because you put the composition up here, you take the composition and pull it down to here, right? Yeah. And then there's, we just did the simple importation of like the music, and then you press like LL, and then you get that. Yeah. And then we yeah. added we added the Twixter Twixter through this by like. Just like adding it in, then it came up to this effect. What is it called? No, well, no. Remember, when you add Twixter, what does it actually call it? What do you to set things to change speed and make it so it looks clean? What is it called? The markers. What are the, the diamonds. What are they called? The markers, right? No, or they're no, they're, they're, keyframes. they're keyframes, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now, now you've done now you've six. You've done your Twixter, your basic Twixter, and now you want to do uh, the adjust. Well, now, what do you want to do? Uh, now that we're doing the tw basic Twixter, uh, have we set up the time yet? The keyframes? We've already done that. We've already, we already done the Twixter. We've already made it so it looks decent. Okay. Um, then we make an adjustment layer, right? Yeah. Boom, do, and then adjustment layer. And yeah. then in the adjustment layer, we search look and then pull looks down to the adjustment layer. Yeah. In looks, we go to the thing and then we press edit. It'll open up Magic Bullet looks and we'll go into Magic Bullet looks and be like, oh, I want to change this. And then it kind of creates a screen over top of this, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, good job. You get an A for this class because you did forget the name of keyframes. Uh, you, you did. Five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, tell Liam's story first. Remember, we have to, we have to give Liam's oh, okay. moment. So we did this the first time. I completely forget everything I said. But we did this the first I, time. I can, I can do the story. Well, basically and what happened... It was hilarious. It was so yeah, fun. What happened was he was uh, we were doing a thing. He we were doing it. We forgot to record the audio, which was really funny. But uh, what happened was he um, came up and didn't know we were recording and started talking. And then he told us his dream the other night, and it was he was in the apocalypse, and I got bitten by a black widow. And it was like, well, well I'm fucked. <laughs> it was just like 
and it was ironic because it's like middle of apocalypse gets bitten by a spider and dies. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It kind of was funny in the moment because it was like really, really random. Now, nah, talking play. about it, we sound retarded, but yeah, probably. I'm going to eat this big Santa thing that you cannot see. It's a big Santa. It's a piece of chocolate. Oh yeah, and this fat kid celebrated Christmas yesterday. Twelve so got it right. grams of fat. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, thanks for watching this episode. It was a uh, great teaching this uh, genius how to edit. I am so. a genius. <laughs> Forty minutes long. Thanks for listening. If you're still here, bye. Bye.